Hello. How are we doing, everyone? I'm doing wonderfully. Um, I had a nice, productive day today. Um, if you notice, we're here in Moss Deep City, and if you looked at the title of the stream today, you know that we are going on the Reggie Quest today. I'm very excited. This is something I never, ever do. I actually don't think I have ever done it in Emerald. I think I did it in Sapphire back in the day. So I'm really excited. Um, all right. So the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna pop down here and we need to, we have our mock bike selected. We need to select our super rod because we have to catch two specific Pokemon to unlock the Regis, so to speak. Um, okay, okay, great. Um, and those two Pokemon are Whalmer, okay. Whalmer and Relicanth. Um, now we've seen Whalmer in our playthrough, but we have not seen Relicanth. We have to catch a Whalmer that's over level 40 because we really need a Whale Lord, the evolved form of Whaler, uh, Whalmer. And I'm excited. So here for the Super Rod, as you can see, it's a little bit different than the old rod because with the old rod, we only had to get to reel it in one time. But on the Super Rod, you have to reel it in like two or three times, um, like we just did there. And we're still getting a Whalmer. We got. We need to get one over level 40. Um, I'm pretty sure that we're able to encounter Whalmers between 25 and 45. Oops, that's not what I want. There we go. Dang it. Sorry. A lot of a lot of focus here. This is a. Uh, Taking me to Feebass days, kids. There we go. Huh. Oh, wow. Long one. Okay. And it can show up any time during that, like, ellipsis um, time. So as you can saw, there was literally... Uh, as you could see, there was literally one dot. And then it was like, oh, a bite. And I'm like, huh. And it surprised me. <laughs> Fishing with the Super Rod in this game can be a little bit annoying. I don't really like how in this game you have to actively pay attention. <laughs> there we go. And I don't think you can press A more than once after you get a bite, um, because then you'll kind of like over reel it. All right, kids. Because once we get our level 40 Whalmer, um, we'll just use a rare can candy on it. We still have plenty, and we can get our Whale Lord. All right. And I know there are some places on a lot of these, um, or on a few of these, water routes where you can find a wild Whale Lord. But it's probably going to be most efficient to try to fish for a whalemer here. Alright, let me go to another spot. Because I'm pretty sure the only Pokemon we can find with the Super Rod here is going to be Whalemer and Sharpedo, actually according to my research. Huh. Perfect. Come on, kids. We need a powerful Whalmer. And it's actually funny because... Uh. <laughs> um, we need this uh, 40 or above Whalmer. And the other Pokemon that we're looking for, Relicanth, um, is actually going to be a 5% encounter as well. So hopefully we are not searching for too terribly long, because I want to get into some of the actual stuff 
Um, okay. There we go. Ah. Another Sharpedo. Not what we're looking for, but that's okay. Oh, just one that time. Lovely. 36. All right. Getting closer. Getting closer. too many of my rare candies. Those could really come in handy. If we find one at level 38, I might go ahead and grab it. Uh, because Whale Mirror of All is at level 40. So, um, if we can find one at level 38 or 39, that only costs us two rare candies to level it up really quick. And I could, you know, I could train it, but I don't want to take the time to do that. <laughs> I guess you could argue it could take me a longer time to find one. Um, but, you know. Whatever, kids. <laughs> uh, what's up, Brody? Oh, you found the new emote, I see. Yes, that is our friend Ziggy. Um... Let's see. Nope. Ah, crap. I did it bad, kids. I hate those ones that take like four, four reels. Um, <laughs> it's your, it's your, it's your child, basically. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to find our all powerful Whalemer here. Come on. Jeez, it's a long one. Wow. All right, this better be a level 40. Dang it. Pretty much. This feels like looking for Feebas all over again. Because again, we found so many Whalemers, but I just need one that's a little bit higher level. And I heard tell that you can get them all the way up to level 45. Ooh, there we go. Come on! Freaking Sharpedo. I mean, Sharpedo would be lovely in general, but it's just not good for us right now. Um, but Sharpedo does kind of suffer from the same issue that Gyarados has, um, where it's a physical attacker, but it's a water type, it's a water and dark type Pokemon, both of which use special attack. Um, so that makes Feebas not, like, incredible. Um, I'm also realizing that we do actually need to weaken this thing a little bit. I'll get Blaine in front. Excuse me. Maybe paralyze it, maybe put it to sleep. We have options with Blaine. Excuse me. There we go. 
So I can do training easy. Ah. Hold on, I'm looking. Oh, I see. Oh, I'll just send it into daycare? That's actually a pretty good idea, Brody. Um, I might actually do that. Next one we find. Brody, that's actually a really good point. Um, once we find another decently leveled Whalemur here, we will... Um, put that plan into action. Alright, that'll work for me. Okay, so... We're gonna catch this heel here, Whalmer. Um, <laughs> we could do that with Ziggy. Um, let's see. I do want to put this thing asleep. Oh, I don't know if I can now if it has mist. Um, I don't remember if mist protects from status conditions or just from uh, what you call it, lowering stats. All right, we have our Whalmer. What should we name our Whalmer? Bring Zig hey, I will need Ziggy for the Reggie quest at some point, Brody. Um, all right, what should we name our Whalmer? Biggie, that is perfect. That is perfect, I appreciate that a lot. Um, Biggie the Whalmer. All right, so now we have a few things that we can do. Biggie and Ziggy. Just a couple of fellas out on the town. Um, all right, so we are going to need to get our friend Biggie out of our PC. Um, for those of you that don't know, we are embarking on a quest um, to unlock those three separate kind of like boulder areas that we um, found along the way in our run. Um, there was... The, there were the ones after Fortree City, the ones in the desert, and the ones kind of like off the shore of, uh, what you call it, Petalburg City. And to do that, there is this big, complicated thing that we have to do. It's kind of one of those things that would no one would ever think to do it. Um, but I'm going to buy a couple of dive balls because we're going to need maybe a few of those. Um, so let's do that. All right, we have our Whalmer. Now, we need to get that up eight levels so it can evolve. And Brody ever so graciously reminded me of something that we can do here. Ah, oh, the music is the same here in Marvel City. So now we're going to pop over here, and I think we discussed this earlier. This is the daycare. Um, I don't remember if we talked to him or the person in here. I think we talked to the person here. So... I'm the day daycare lady, yes. Um, we want to go to the daycare so we can level up Biggie um, without actually training it. And the way that it works is we can raise two Pokemon to see if they can create an egg. More on that later. Um, but the way this works is that the more steps you take, the more experience your Pokemon will get while in the daycare. And what you can do, you can kind of just like run back and forth. You can maybe find one of those mudslides and just kind of like go back and forth like that so you don't even have to look at your screen. Um, oh, hello, Clobingo. Um, but anyway, we put our Pokemon in the daycare to level, up, level it up quickly so we can just run around um, to get those levels on it. But in the meantime, let's see. Oh, the YouTube Visiting Suite? Great. Um... In the meantime, we need to go to... Uh, we can just go to Moss Deep City. That's fine. Back where we were at. Um, okay. Uh, this is fine for now. Uh, you know what? Brody, I'll get Ziggy for you. Just to, just to, just to have her on the squad. 
do, do, do. There we go. Perfect. Nope, don't want that. Ah, uh, great. Ah, actually. I need another Pokemon. Do you know Surf? Yes, you do. You know all three. Great. So I will swap out Harry the Melodic for now. Ah, oh, I can put two in the daycare. Okay, I'll put Ziggy in there too. Ziggy can get some levels while we're doing this. Um, so it actually kind of works out because there's something else that we have to do while our Whalmer levels up in there. Um, oh, and I don't need the Super Rod anymore. So let me just go back to the old Mach Bike. All right. <laughs> Pentacool is a great name. Um, someone in chat named it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we can raise another Pokemon. Um, and if Ziggy and Whalmer are in the same egg group, they'll actually create an egg, which is very interesting. I don't know if they are. Um, but for our purposes, we're just kind of leveling, leveling them up. Do, do, do. Ben is too cool. All right, we have just been going back and forth. All right, I'm gonna just pop a little repel right here for now. All right, so the next thing that we need to do on our quest, and this is actually something that anyone it's interesting, because this is something that anyone could figure out on their own. It would just take a lot of trial and error. Pokemon likes to do a lot of stuff that you really couldn't figure out on your own. Not not really. Um, but this we can. I just already know to do this to hopefully save us a little bit of time. Uh, Trentacool was right there. Oh, that would have been another good one. All right, so as you can see, I am now underwater by Sutopolis City, and we are here in the seaweed, and we are looking for a specific Pokemon called Relicanth. It is a very kind of like old fish Pokemon. Um, it's kind of supposed to be like a fish fossil that just lives in the bottom of the ocean, and we need it for our quest as well. I'm very excited. Yes, we need to take a lot of steps. Um, because every step for um, the daycare is some experience points for our Pokemon that are in there. And luckily, we are going to be looking for Relicanth for a while, I'm probably pretty sure. Because I think the encounter rate in the seaweed isn't as high as it is in normal grass. Um, and we need to find our friend so we can continue on. Ah, and look here. This is something we haven't really... Oop, nope. This is something we haven't really seen yet. You can find these little dark spots. And there can be an item there. So you can die for items all the time. It's really cool. Here's a nice long line. I'm just gonna... Oops, nope. I'm used to hitting B because that's like the run. Ah, Chincho! I love Chincho! Um, wow, I, for a long time, I always pronounced this Chinchow, and learning a little bit of Japanese, this is probably Chincho, that little extra U sound in there. Um, so there's a lot of these down here as well. Like I said, um, we have the Chincho and Clam Pearl are going to be primarily the Pokemon that we find down here. Um, but there is still that 5% chance we find Relicanth. I love the little bubbles that go by. And this music, gosh, I know I talked, I've talked about this music before, but it's so good. And I love just the vibes of the underwater. It's such, such a cool, such a cool addition in these games. Yes, Brody, we can absolutely use that bike, bike. Wow, I can't talk. Bike ramp if we need to. Hello, Cry. How's it going? Thank you for joining us today. Keep on accidentally doing that. Um, we are searching for our friend Relicanth so we can 
continue on our Reggie special Reggie quest. Um, so it might take a while to find our friend, but I believe in us. I really do. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know what level it's going to be. It looks like things down here are kind of like 23 to 27. Um, so I'm thinking a dragon breath might not be the best call. Uh, let's see. What I might do, I'll just hit it with like... And put it to sleep. And then maybe hit it with Bentacool once. We do have those dive balls though, which is great. Um, and the reason we pick up those dive balls is they will be better at catching Pokemon underwater like we're trying to do. Um, but how's everybody's day been today? Mine has been pretty good. I um, did a few things that I was meaning to do. Um, music wise, I was editing some vocals, which made me very happy. Um, I'm probably going to try to sing some more tomorrow, um, on some new material. Here he is. Here she is. Relicant. Look at this. Look at this beautiful creature. Um, okay. I'm just going to try to put it to sleep. I'll just try a dive ball right now. It is a rock water type. You are absolutely correct, Brady. So let's see. Th that actually came pretty fast. Let's just try a dive ball now. So again, this has better use on Pokemon underwater like we are right now. Yeah, baby! And we've knocked down the second domino. Ooh, the longevity Pokemon. A Pokemon that was once believed to have been extinct. The species has not changed its form for 100 million years. <laughs> it walks on the seafloor using its pectoral fins. Very cool Pokemon. Um, oh, uh, Yappadabadoo. Is that what you want to name our Relicanth? It is a very beautiful Pokeball cry. You're correct. Um... Yappadabadoo, I love it. I think that is a, a dignified name for this for this old old lady. Uh, Yappa. <laughs> Oopsie. Yappa, dabadoo. Oh yeah, Flintstones. I get it. I'm having a really hard time spelling this without looking at what you wrote. <laughs> hey, and it perfectly fits. Um, okay. Lovely. So now we can head back on up. Um, I'm just going to check in on our friend Whalmer. Because it'll say how much they've leveled up. It's probably not too... Ooh, this guy's actually... He's in the front here. What do you say? Ah, it's you. We were raising your Pokemon. My goodness, we were surprised your Pokemon had an egg. Wow, I do want it. Um, okay. I will come back for that egg. I actually... I think the egg... Yes, the egg is of the female Pokemon. So, Brody, I think we're about to have a baby Ziggy. Ziggy's about to, about to be a mother. Um, let's see... Biggie and Ziggy. Uh, okay, we will deposit deposit Yabba Dabba Doo um, for now. So I want to see what's up with this egg. This is not part of the quest. This is just a fun little side side thing. Lovely. Okay, I do want it absolutely. All right, so let's see. The daycare lady will tell us how many levels we've grown. Ziggy's grown by one. Um, no, that's okay. So that probably means that Whalemur's grown by, like, two. Um, <laughs> so again, Whalemur needs to grow... Uh, it was at level 32, so it needs to go, um... Seven levels. I'm losing my mind. 
So now to level up Whalmer, we can just kind of go back and forth a little bit here. If we find another one of those uh, bike ramp things, you can kind of just go straight up and down. Usually if I am leveling up a Pokemon in the daycare or trying to hatch an egg, I will just kind of go back and forth between Verdant Turf Town and um, Marvel City just like this. Um, but yeah, we were kind of talking about um, our day today. I've been having a very productive week so far. I'm pretty happy about it. We do have the egg now, Brody. So it's also getting its step count in. Um, so hopefully we can uh, have Ziggy's daughter here. Um, daughter of Ziggy. Spawn of Ziggy. Uh, before too long. Uh, speed up? My pleasure. I'll turn off our sound. So again... We need these two Pokemon for our for our Reggie quest, and you will soon find out why. Um, they the game doesn't explicitly tell you why you need these two Pokemon. It does tell you you need these two Pokemon. Um, but I had actually seen something somewhere that gave a really interesting reason, kind of like lore wise, um, that you might that the game wants you to have these two Pokemon um, in your party to do this quest. Um, and again, I'm over the moon about it. Let's see here. So our egg is probably pretty close to, pretty close to hatching here. Um, it's making sounds, it's about to hatch. I probably say that and it's gonna hatch in like a second. Um, and again, we're just grooving along here. Once this egg hatches, I will check to see what the level is on um, Ziggy and Biggie. Okay, I will name the baby, that's good. Ah, I think I have the perfect name for Ziggy's baby. I won't I won't try to spoil it, but I think I have the perfect name. It's going to be great. Um, I feel like a lot of steps ago it was close to hatching. I feel like... Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, Ziggy's a mom. Ziggy's a mom. I would like to nickname Zigzagoon, and for this Zigzagoon, this beautiful, strapping young boy, we shall name him Zaggy. Zaggy, beautiful baby boy. Mom and mom and uh, mom and baby doing great. Um, I am gonna deposit Zaggy though for now, uh, because we need to do some other stuff. And Zaggy, Zaggy needs his rest. He's a newborn. He's just gonna chill out over here. Um, I do need to pick up Ziggy because I need to figure out what level uh, Whalmer is going to be. My husband was looking for you. Oh my gosh, did they have another egg? <laughs> oh, they had another egg. Oh, that's funny. Um, let's see, I don't know if I can take them out of the daycare. Oh, wow, really? Okay. So we're going to do this. So Biggie's only grown by one, which that's not great. All right, so we have to make a few more deposits. This egg I will deposit for now. Bentacool I can deposit for now. Um, great. That'll work for now. All right. All right, let's see. I will take, oops, no. So now, sorry. Dang it. <laughs> I keep clicking on the wrong thing. I will take my Pokemon back and I will take Ziggy back. Um, that's fine. 
Yeah, one thing, um, depending on how many levels your Pokemon grows in the daycare, it costs you more money to take them out. Um, no, I won't. I'm going to leave Biggie, because we got to do some more of that. Um, ah, hold on, let me... Let me check my notes here. Um, I might be able to show some things off for you guys. No, we might just need to do this for a while. No, I'm just trying to level up Biggie as, as quick as possible. Because I feel like having both of them in the daycare had... Ziggy was, like, taking some of the experience that we were getting from walking around like this. A full box of Ziggy would be a dream. Anybody's dream, really. So yeah, um, Biggie had grown to level 33. Once Biggie gets to level 39, um, so once it grows by 7 again, that is when we will take it out of the daycare. But until then, we're just... Uh, <laughs> they're great stocking stuffers. <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, what are we naming the second kid? Um, I don't know. We'll have to decide on that one. Um, I can go ahead and get it out while we're doing this. Not move items. Wow, excuse me. Sorry, I'm burping like a pig. Um, there's our egg. I'll just put that there for now. Because if we're doing this, we might as well. Um, Cry, do you have a good nickname for another baby Zigzagoon? Imagine if we got a shiny. That'd be so awesome. Because I think this was a pretty common method for hunting shinies back in Generation 3. Um, you would just try to get a lot of eggs... Goonie, love it. Goonie, it shall be. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. All right, person needs to stop talking to me so we can hatch our egg and level up our whalemer. And you know, I could have kept fishing in Moss Deep City, but we actually hadn't seen the daycare in action yet, so this is actually kind of fun. Um... <laughs> Biggie, Ziggy, Zaggy, and Goonie. Family of four. They're like Mousehold. Um, I actually recently beat the main story in my Violet version, the one where I was using only grass types, which was super fun. Um, I do still have the DLC to go through. I actually went through Kitakami first. Um, those of you familiar with the Gen 9 games, I actually went through that first because you can get Ogre Pond, and it's obviously a grass type, and it's lovely and wonderful. Um, it was, it's been a really fun playthrough so, so far. Um, because oftentimes the grass starter is my favorite. This is evidence of that. We started with Trico here. Um, but uh, I really, really love Meowscarada in Scarlet and Violet. It's really cool. All right, so once this egg hatches, I will check in on Biggie. And hopefully he's had a couple levels. <laughs> All right. Goonie is being born. I 
absolutely would like to name Zigzagoon, and I will name him our baby boy, Goonie. Perfect. Alright. I'm actually going to deposit Goonie here, because we need that free space for Whalmer. Great. All right. All right, let's see how many levels he's got so far. <laughs> that would be funny. Biggie's grown by three. Um, so now Biggie is at level 35. So we need to get Biggie a few more levels. Oh, we can keep chatting. We're just talking here. Oh, we need a Whalmer emote so we can have the family. I've said emote and I've said emote. I am I I know it's kind of like, you know, it's like an emoticon. You're like emoting. Um, I guess you can say it both ways. Emote just makes it sound like I'm saying email. Or I sound like an old person. Which, I mean, you know. Um, compared to the market audience for Pokemon games, I am a very old person. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yeah, so Whalmer and Three Ziggies, yes. Um, I thought that was the perfect Ziggy. I was really happy with that one. Um, yeah, I might have to make a Whalmer one. The whole Whalmer Whalord situation is something that's taking longer than I thought it would. I thought that we would be searching for Relicanth a lot longer. Um, it actually really played ball with us. I feel like my computer's really running. Yeah, it is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're just here. Um, again, once we get to seven levels, we'll be able to take out our, our, our big boy. So then he can finally evolve and we can finally do our quest. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely have time to do it. We'll definitely have time, even with this leveling up Whalmer time that we're taking. Um, but da -da -do 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 -do. <laughs> Who predicted Ziggy would make love? Not me. Not me. That was not on my uh, bingo card for this playthrough. Um, even though I actually saw, uh, an interesting video about this and they're just like, listen, Pokemon don't actually procreate in the way that regular animals do. They were saying that like, Pokemon are just like these magical creatures. Like they don't actually make love. They... <laughs> a hilarious discussion they don't actually make love they actually just exist together and just create an egg um there's no actual like action they just create it um <laughs> which is an interesting theory because again you know we essentially had a raccoon and a whale and they somehow made a baby and that's pretty mysterious. And I think every time the daycare people talk about it, it's literally just like, the egg just appeared. That's the way they always say it. They didn't say the Pokemon did anything. They just said the Pokemon were together, and then the egg appeared. Um, let's see. <laughs> I just need a little bit of Poke Pollen, and poof! Got a new Pokemon. You're so right. Um, all right, let's take a look at where he's at now. Biggie's grown by four. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, so that puts Biggie at level 36. Um, I will settle for six levels on Ziggy. Because I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. You know? Let's see. <laughs> I'm the teacher who talks about the birds and the bees. It's true. It's true. I don't really uh, want to have the awkward conversation about what two Pokemon do when they're in love, you know? 
That's not really my place. But I am pretty excited that um, this week it's looking like um, I can get back to that Saturday afternoon stream um, that I like to do. That's really one of my favorite times. I feel like a lot of um, our friends here can really get together at that time. Um, it's really good. It's a good time. And just really having like the afternoon and the daylight and, and everybody's free, it just, it just feels nice. It kind of, uh, streaming on Saturdays just connects me back to the time when I fell in love in, with video games in the first place. Just remembering playing on Saturday mornings with the light filtering in to my bedroom. It's pretty, some pretty core memories there. Um, it was pretty great. Um, <laughs> let's just say they hug each other. That's fine by me. I like that. Um, but yeah, we should be back Saturday. Should be good. We might, we might be finishing the main story on Saturday. We'll see. Um, there's still a lot more to do in Emerald that I'm still really excited about. A lot more to explore. Um, excuse me. Because I feel like we finished our playthrough of Pokemon Yellow in 17 episodes. Um, and again, we just go for like about an hour or so. We might go a little longer today just because, just because you know, this is taking longer than I, than I anticipated. So we might go a little longer. Um, and we did pretty much all that there was to do in that game. Um, and Crystal took 23 episodes which again with that we did most of the stuff that you could do i think there's a few things that i didn't show off but um here in emerald there is just so much more extra stuff compared to those first two generations it's actually funny for me discovering that um playing this game again um because i just never i don't know if i ever realize just how much content there is in this game especially compared to the other two um because people kind of hold johto up as the standard because you get to go to another region um biggie's grown by five um so i'm just gonna raise ziggy one not ziggy biggie um one more level and then i'll just use rare candies because i want to get this show on the road and we got plenty of rare candies we're not hurting for them right now <laughs> um, but yeah, I do actually have more special secret stuff planned for this game. And, you know, people who are familiar with the game probably have an idea of what I'm talking about. But people who are not familiar with the game, um, it'll be a fun surprise. And... <laughs> I really did not anticipate so much of this episode being biking back and forth between Marvel City and Verdant Turf Town. But I mean, you know. Oh, is that a <laughs> is that a Whalmer picture for me, Brody? I'll look at that. Um Let's see. Oh, this is something I haven't really talked about. This guy, he will just teach your Pokemon rollout if you talk to them. Um, I actually don't know if any of our Pokemon can learn, can ro learn Rollout. Oh yeah, a few of them. Oh, that would have been good for Aggron, um, because it's a rock move. But I do like that it knows Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb works really well for him, too. Oh, do I have Magma Armor or Flame Body? Um, I don't think so. Does that make the levels go faster in the daycare as well? Um... All right, Biggie. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. Um, Biggie is uh, what should we call it? Grown by six. I don't want to raise one more, but I do want to take Biggie back. Um, yes, it does make eggs uh, hatch faster. Cry. That's a really good point. Um, all right. So we got Biggie back. Here we go. So now we have collected a nice 
a nice stash of rare candies as we've gone throughout the game. Um, and we can use a few of them here on Biggie. 39. And then Biggie will evolve at level 40. Here we go. Don't press B. Because, fun fact, if you press B while it's evolving, it will not evolve. It'll stop. I actually don't know if I've pointed that out in any of these games before, but it's true. Yes! Wailord is such a cool Pokemon, very underrated. Um, Alright, so now that we have our Wailord, we are going to teach him some HMs. Um, yes. Um, yes, I already deposited that. Yes. Get rid of Astonish. Oh yeah, Biggie's moveset is quite bad. <laughs> I'll just teach him all three. Because Biggie's, Biggie's not a Pokemon we're going to use to fight. We got Biggie for this special occasion. And we'll get rid of Water Pulse there. All right. All right, kids. Let's see. So now... <laughs> Are you going to cordially invite people to the Biggie Ziggy wedding, Brody? Um, so now we need our friend Yabba Dabba Doo. And we'll deposit James the Chimeco for now. Got a few of our friends down here in the main squad. So, this is something I have not shown off before. Let me save the game because I have anxiety. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Wait, do I have Relicanth? Yes, I do. Um, so let's pop over here to Pacific Log Town. Very excited. Okay. So. We have to surf down this way. I actually have a handy dandy guide going. Um, so. If we come down here, we're going to get to this new route. Hold on, let me use a Super Repel first. Where am I? There we are. Perfect. So, here we get to Route 132. As you can see, we have these little lines in the water. These are currents. We encountered this in the Seafloor Cavern, and uh, the routes... Um, east of Pacific Log here, they have tons of these currents that can take you a bunch of different places. There are some trainers here that we can fight, and you have to go through like multiple times to make sure you hit all the trainers in different areas you can get to. But we are trying to get to one specific dive spot, and we're going to start now. So we go down here. We'll fight this fisherman while we're at it. I'm going to try to skip the battles if I can. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, this is interesting. He's only got a level 19 Magikarp. I feel like, yeah, his Gyarados has got to be a lot more powerful. Uh, not, not too much, though. This is kind of one of those trainers that has six Pokemon. I would use Archimecho. Um, I'll use Piccolo here. Of course we bring Ziggy. It was specifically requested. And this guy has a ton of Gyarados, as we can see. And they're all of, like, various levels. This is a very interesting trainer. Um... And of course we run into a trainer with six Pokemon <laughs> when we're trying to do something. All right. Almost there. Almost there, gang. 
once I'm done cutting down these Gyarados. Perfect. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm gonna look at my handy dandy guide here. Excuse me, we are on a mission. All right, so now we're gonna ride this current here. And right now the current is just driving us into the rock, but I'm seeing what we need to do next. And there's a couple trainers up there that we can fight, but I'm skipping them for now. Oops. Let's see. Perfect, we'll go from here. And this will take us on a big, long journey around the bend here. Lovely. Okay. So just pop down here. And this will pop us right here. And I think there's a specific spot I gotta take off from. Let's see. Looks about right to me. And then this will funnel us right here. We have made it. This is the special dive spot that we needed to get to. As you can see, the sea is deep here. I would love to use dive. And there's a mysterious little opening there. And we can go all the way down here. But what is all the way down here, you might ask? What is that? This, my friends, is Braille! Um, in order to unlock these legendary Pokemon, you needed to learn Braille. Um, it's funny, my Sapphire guide back in the day actually had like the Braille translation so you could do this quest. Um, so I actually have these here. When you get to the entrance, this says go up here. Um, so what the game wants you to do, light is filtering down from above, would you like to use dive? It wants you to go up using dive. But... It takes us into the sealed chamber. Oh. Listen to this music. Oh, the intrigue in the sealed chamber is incredible. Um, okay. So we've got all these kind of mounds here, mysterious mounds. Um, and they all say, I'm pretty sure they just say, like, the alphabet. Like, this is A, B, C. Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. That was A, B, C. And what is this? Oh, this is G, H, I. So all of these just have the braille letters of the alphabet. But here is what we need to talk about. Um, and what this says is... Dig here. So, I actually have not taught any Pokemon dig. Um, we do have the TM. So I'm going to queue that up right now. And I'm actually going to teach it to our friend Piccolo. As our starter, I think Piccolo should, should do the honors. I'll get rid of Fury Cutter. We never use it. And now that we have a Pokemon that can use Dig, it says, Dig here. Or, uh, yes, Dig here. 
we can use dig <gasps> and it opens another secret chamber um okay so this is super cool um let's see what this what these say I actually don't know if there's wild Pokemon in here. So there is a ton of writing here. I actually have what it says on all of the mounds. It says... Um, sorry. Okay, so I have all of the writing on the mounds, and it says, In this cave, we have lived. We owe all to the Pokemon, but we sealed the Pokemon away. We feared it. Those with courage, those with hope. Open a door, an eternal Pokemon awaits. So cool. So now we get here, and it's going to say First comes Relicanth, last comes Wailerd. Oh, sorry. That is what it would say in Ruby and Sapphire. In Emerald, it says First comes Wailerd. Last comes Relicanth. So, here, we need these two Pokemon. And we need to put you in front, and you in back, and we'll see what happens. sounded as if a door opened somewhere far away. That was the sound of the three doors opening all scattered throughout the region. Which is sick. Um, so, so cool. This quest is so awesome. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, we can go there. Okay. So, now we've got our friends. I, what was I, what was I gonna do? So we have unlocked all of the chambers. I'm gonna save. There we go. Um, so, I don't know exactly the lore on the Reggies, but basically what it says on the mounds here is that they were locked away because they were feared of being too powerful which is so so cool and you have this ancient writing down here it's so amazing also um maybe one of the lore reasons that you need a waylord and a relicanth is that you need like a great big diving Pokemon to take you all the way down to the sealed chamber, and you need Relicanth to specifically find it, because Relicanth is supposed to be like, I think, like a navigator Pokemon, and as you can see, like, that little red dot is kind of like, like a spot on a map. Like, its spots on Relicanth kind of look like a map, and that red dot is like a spot where a secret place might be. So cool! So cool. I learned this recently. It's so cool. Um, so, now we have the option to try and catch um, one of these amazing Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use an escape rope, if I can. Hooray. So that just takes us back here. Oh wait, no, I think I have to go... Nope, don't want that. So now I gotta scoot all the way back from where we came from here. Through this secret opening. There we go. Alright, and now we're back where we were. Um, so, we're going to try to catch one today, and I want to try to catch the one in the Desert Ruins. Alright, let me heal the squad real quick. Alright. 
so now we can hop down here. And yeah, we got a, we got a good supply of Ultra Balls. Uh, we don't have our optimal team to try to catch this Pokemon, but it's okay. We still have a good squad. I'm still pretty happy with it. Um, <laughs> we do have Ziggy, that's right. Um, okay. So now, as you can see, this chamber is open. But there is still one more puzzle that we have to do. And right here, this says the following. Left, left, down, down, then use Rock Smash. All right. So let's see. Left, left, down, down. Now let's use Rock Smash. And there it opens. There it opens. Um, each Reggie has their own kind of like secret code that you need to use to get in. Because um, you need to go to the sealed chamber to open all the chambers, but then they each have their own little uh, puzzle as well. All right. So let's try to catch Regirock today. I'm excited. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We'll start with Blaine. I'm going to save the game because I have anxiety. Um, we can try to catch the other ones as well. Um, I don't know if we'll... We probably won't have time for all of them today. But here is the ancient rock golem itself. This music is incredible! Oh my gosh. Oh, so, so good. And again, these are like secret Pokemon. It is nice that they're at level 40. Um, so it's not like Rayquaza where we're just faced with an uphill climb all day long. Um, and I do definitely want to hit it with a status. I might be able to get it with Dragon Breath here. Paralysis. Um, I think uh, Regirock should be able to live one more Dragon Breath. Um, because from here, I will hit it with, hopefully, either a Paralysis or a Sing next turn. Great, okay, there's our Paralysis. I don't know if they have Rest. It's been raising its attack, so this might knock out Blaine. Oh, not quite. Alright, so. Let's try Okay, okay. We knew it wouldn't be that easy. We knew it wouldn't be that easy. Um, no, I don't want to mute that music. I kind of want to speed through so we can just get to the ball throwing. But, my lord, this music is too, is just too good to pass up. Alright. Alright. It's okay. No big deal. All right, so Blaine goes down. Um, let's see if we can get the Ziggy luck here. I'll hit it with a Rock Smash. Maybe I can lower that defense. Oh, not quite. Oh, this is so sick. I don't know... Um, I'm going to look up Regirock's moveset. I don't... I think they do learn... These Pokemon learn, like, Explosion. Um, which would be terrible. I don't know if they know them right now. Um, let's see. Oh, they actually... Okay. Explosion is, like, its level one move. <laughs> um, so that's what I was thinking of. But luckily, by level... F uh, level 40, it has forgotten Explosion. So we're, we're, we're doing all right. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, use next Pokemon. We'll use some of our new friends in battle here. Oh, I love that dive ball. That is gorge. And so far, we are just tossing Ultra Balls until we catch it. 
unfortunately, in a lot of these games, um, all right, yeah, but that dude goes down, and that's okay. We still got Biggie. Um. Okay. Oh, I almost ran. <laughs> Come on. Um, I think... Here's superpower. Um, very powerful fighting type move, but it does lower some of Red Rock's stats. Attack and defense. Okay. Um, so, something that happens in Gen 3, I think specifically, is that when a Pokemon raises its stats, I think it becomes harder to catch. Oh boy. Alright. So we're running out of options here. I will actually go ahead and use Ron. Because I thought Ron would be a great counter. Um, but if it's going to use superpower, Ron gets annihilated to that. Ancient power will tank, though. Come on. We can do this. That works. Dang it! Alright, I'll try. I'll try a Pokeball, why not? We'll see. Oh, Brody, that would have been crazy. Um, I'll keep trying it. Hey, I mean... We're getting shakes on the Pokeball. Come on. Ah, uh, not anymore. But we are getting some nice paralysis luck. He's a Great Ball this time. Great Ball is one of my favorite Pokeballs. I just really like how it looks. Didn't work this time. If it does decide to use, uh... Use Ultra Ball this time. If it does decide to use Super Power, that will destroy Ron. Especially if it's just going to keep setting up curses. Ah. Alright. We'll use all our Pokeballs here. I really don't know why it doesn't want to use uh, doesn't want to use superpower. No! Dang it! Uh, hold B. Oh yes, that was the old uh, trick they said. I'll do it. I'm holding B. Um. I also thought it was like. I thought I remember someone saying up and B would make the Pokeball catch it. Sure didn't this time. I'm glad that Regirock has taken pity on Ron. Really gave us many opportunities to throw Pokeballs. All right, it's our last Pokeball. Let's see. Dang it. Ah, there's the superpower. That would have that would have killed Ron from full health. Um Alright, we have but one brave companion remaining. Ooh. I think I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Alright, so we're out of Pokeballs, which is sad. I will try Great Balls. Okay. I mean, we got Regirock in a good position here. You know? This is about as well as we can do. Like, 
2 HP, paralyzed. That's what you want. It just won't get in the ball. Okay. I'm going to try Ultra Balls now. Because we're down to maybe our last hit. Oh, dang it. Paralysis. Okay, Curse, I'll take that. Come on. Oh, that might be it, kids. Yeah. Well, all right. At least we got that incredible music. There we go. All right, so we're here um, in Regirox's chamber. Uh, guys, this has been great. This is going to do it for me tonight. Um... I don't know if we're going to be back to catch the Reggie's next episode. That might have to be a separate episode. But uh, thanks for going on this journey with me. This has been super, super fun. Um, I appreciate you always tuning in. And uh, I'll see you all next time. I'll see you on Saturday. It's going to be really, really awesome. So, ah, uh, thanks, Cry. Um, but, uh, yeah, great. Have a good rest of your week. Um, I'll catch you next time. Peace, kids.